24 hours after the Manchester City boss appeared in his striped fashion statement, Klopp kept his cool when two successive draws had questioned whether his side were suffering a mini-meltdown. Klopp had told Liverpool fans to fasten their seatbelts, but there was nothing harem scaring in this comfortable victory which put them back at the top of the Premier League. Sadio O'Main put them on their way with a suspiciously offside opener, the first time he had scored in four Premier League games in a row. Genie Wijnaldum got up from his sixth bed to notch an unbelievable second, only topped in brilliance by Mo Salah scoring his 49th goal in 62 league matches. Delighted, Klopp said, Mo was pretty much undefendable. The performance was brilliant, but all the game was good. And all the goals were brilliant. A very deserved three points. We are very self-critical and we're not happy with the two performances. We wanted to play convincing football and that was the reaction we wanted. Bournemouth boss Eddie Howe said, the first goal was a huge moment in the match. It's clearly offside. And the second goal was self-inflicted. Klopp had paid tribute before the game to Liverpool's extra man, the faithful fans, for their unwavering devotion and support. So much so that he admitted he would love to shake every one of the 50,000 by the hand in a heartfelt thank you. But even his admiring public must have held their breath with just two minutes on the clock when Bournemouth almost took a shot lead. Ryan Fraser popped up from nowhere on the left and rattled in a low shot which produced a great save from Alisson. The scare spurred Liverpool into life and Roberto Firmino's touch was blocked by keeper Arter Boric who stood strong. Seconds later, Salah had a crack with a shot deflected into the pole's arms. Then came the 24th minute breakthrough. James Milner swung in a dangerous cross and Main stepped offside before heading down and in with Bournemouth waiting for a flag. Ten minutes later, Liverpool stormed into a two-goal lead and there was no doubting the validity of this one. Andy Robertson pinpointed a pass to Wijnaldum who controlled and then delicately chipped Boric to finish off brilliantly. And on the stroke at halftime, Salah appeared from nowhere and in a VFL Ash tried his luck with Boric needing to be at his best to save. Liverpool went 3-0 up three minutes into the second half with a move of magnificence. Maybe Keita began it with a swerving pass to Firmino delivered with the outside of his boot. Firmino in a flash nudged the ball back into Salah's pass and the Egyptian swept his shot into the bottom corner. The fourth looked on the cards in the 56th minute when Main was left with a free header, but he powered it wide. There was no doubt that the famous massed ranks of supporters expected more net bulging, but their heroes took their foot off the gas in the closing 20 minutes. Salah, though, had another go in the 76th minute with a shot which rattled the bar. But it was Bournemouth who showed more endeavour with substitute Lies Musa rocketing in a belter which the largely untroubled Alisson flipped the way for a corner. Firmino wasted a golden chance with three minutes left when he found himself clear and on a one-to-one -one with Boric, but saw his effort saved. And substitute Trent Alexander-Arnold suffered a similar fate late on with Liverpool content with their comfortable.